Isabella revealed in her newest YouTube vlog what it was like to suffer from megaloblastoma. Megaloblastoma is a rare condition that accounts for about 20% of all childhood brain tumors. Isabella, 20, just went through a second brain surgery after she already had an emergency surgery after being diagnosed in October 2023. The TV personality's twin daughter had to get a second surgery because she had a complication while she was recovering from her first round of chemotherapy. Isabella was on her way to a morning appointment to have another craniotomy in the video. I'm actually very nervous. I'm more nervous for this one because it's not like my brain that they're messing with. It's not as deep, but I'm curious as to what recovery would look like, she said. I'm not excited at all. I'm actually kind of nervous. The aspiring model added, Yay, how lucky am I to get another brain surgery? Later in the vlog, she filmed herself in her hospital bed after her procedure was completed. Isabella's head was wrapped in bandages, and she expressed how much pain she was going through. I'm in so much pain, and this sucks. I was in so much pain earlier. I was like screaming. This is not fun, she said. Hopefully, this is what was causing all my fevers and why I've been in the hospital for a week. So hopefully, I will get to go home soon after I heal from this but I don't feel my best. Isabella continued, My face is so puffy, it's insane. I feel really awful and I was not expecting to come out in this head wrap thing. I'm just in a lot of pain. It sucks. I was way more drugged up for my first surgery because it was more invasive. Isabella and her retired NFL star father, 52, sat down for a tearful interview with his co-anchor Robin Roberts, 63 on GMA in mid-January. Isabella burst out crying as she talked about how rare her condition is. Michael immediately handed her a tissue and put a supportive hand on her leg as she sobbed. I told myself I wasn't going to cry. He added soothingly, it happens. You're allowed to cry. And Robin added, take your time. Isabella wiped away tears as she went on. It's been like two months of keeping it quiet, which is definitely difficult. I don't want to hide it anymore, cause it's hard to always keep in. I hope to just kind of be a voice and be someone who people, maybe those who are going through chemotherapy or radiation can look at. The diagnosis came several weeks after she began experiencing headaches at the start of her freshman year at USC. Michael took a week's long break from hosting GMA at the time, citing personal family matters. I didn't notice anything was off till probably like October 1, Isabella said. That's when I definitely noticed headaches, nausea, couldn't walk straight. The student, whose mother is Michael's ex-wife Jane Mugley, initially thought she had vertigo, but on October 25 she threw up blood. I woke up, probably at like 1 p.m. I dreaded waking up, but I was throwing up blood, she recalled. I was like, "Am this probably isn't good. So I texted my sister, who then notified the whole family. That was when we decided. You need to really go get a thorough checkup, Michael said.